Hey Google, stop. You're trying to get us in trouble. We can't. We can't play music on this live. We can't play music on the monetized channel. Y'all try to look. We about to get it sexy up in here. We about to get it sexy up in here, but we can't play music, y'all. Y'all know how it is when you have a monetized channel. What's up, everyone? Good to have you here. Good to be here. Go on and look. Go on and go on and, and, and uh, welcome people in. Um, you know what I'm trying to say. Um, share is what I'm trying to say. But you can welcome people in too. Go on and share. We're going to make this uh, chicken piccata today. Uh, if you've never had it, it's a very simple lemony sauce chicken. Little capers. So you got a little brainy, a little lemony, a little chickeny, a little saucy. We're going to make it a thing, all right? I was that close to making pasta, but I think we're going to have this over some rice. I don't feel like making pasta from scratch today. It's been a busy day. It's been a busy day. Days where I, I think about making things from scratch are, are, are getting fewer and fewer because there's so many things that are going on in the background. But good to have everyone here. Thank you for being here. Thank you for sharing. Thank you for spending your sweet time on all platforms um, just to uh, hang out with us. We're making our dinner like we do every day. And um, before we do that, just like we always do, we, we welcome you guys in. We ask you to share because sharing is caring. It doesn't cost anything to share. And if all of us work together to help build this page, the page gets bigger. So thank you for that. Um, we're going to go ahead and get our, our theme music playing. We're going to get our cleansing breath in. And then we're going to see what our thought for the day is. And then we're going to make some chicken piccata, y'all. We're going to make some chicken piccata. All right. So good to have everyone in here. Uh, let me just see, boom, 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 there we go, let's add, I guess I can add on people comments, all right, Latisse, comment on, on IG so I can see you, but uh, good to have everyone here, yep, I see, boom, 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 so Anita's in there while I'm working, we have a pop-up Saturday, um, we had to make a few more spices because we were getting kind of low, thank you for that, because that means we were actually... You know, we make everything small batch, so we don't make a, a whole lot. We don't have warehouses filled up with our spices. We want our spices to be fresh, so we only do a few bottles at a time so that uh, you guys get fresh um, ingredients and you get a fresh experience. So um, because we have a pop-up that we have to do Saturday, uh, we have to make sure we have enough stuff to sell. So she's in there working. Um, Mom is laying down. She's been laying down since we came home. We're going to do this chicken piccata, y'all, but first... We're going to play our theme music. All right, so let's go ahead and do that and get you guys settled in. Thank you. Welcome for being Welcome to share. And share. And share and share. for your patience with me you know i'm tonight just like i am the chef the cameraman i'm reading the comments so thank you for being here good to have you here um i was looking for my meat mallet but i might have to use my rolling pin if i have to but we're gonna we're gonna make this happen so i want to pound that a little flat so before we get started we're gonna go ahead and do our cleansing breath uh that is our exercise that we do at the top of the show that allows us to release our stress to kind of let go of whatever is bothering us today um we're allowed to do it as often as possible, all right? As many times as you start to automatically start thinking, why am I holding on to this? I can let it go. These things aren't happening to me. I'm reacting to them, okay? So the way we do that is we count to three. We inhale some cleansing breath through our nose. We hold it for a sec, and then we just release the air, and we just let the stress go at the same time, all right? So we're going to go ahead and do that. Good to have you all here. I see you everywhere. Good to good to good to good to see you. So let's go ahead and count on three. Here we go. One, two, three. 
three let's inhale hold it there in the head for a sec and then release drop the shoulders drop the tension drop the issues okay so now that we got that taken care of guys we're going to take a little walk over to see our pastor ge frigidaire who is the reverend of the kitchen he always gives us a little short little mini sermon and we're gonna see what the thought for the day that might help one of you one or two of you out today so i'm gonna turn y'all around let me see give me a sec again cameraman in and cooking boom good to have y'all come on oh, let me get wait a minute hold on youtube there we go all right here we go all right so the word for the day oh it's like a simple word for the day very very simple and it says let it go Never ruin a fresh day thinking about a bad yesterday. Let me say that again. Let it go. Never go into your next day. A brand new opportunity, a brand new beginning, a brand new restart. Never ruin a fresh day thinking about a bad yesterday. All right? So uh, if you feel that one, say amen. I feel like some of y'all feel it. I see a couple of amens popping up. For that little mini sermon <laughs> on today, let's get y'all turn right back around, get you in a spot where I can see everyone, and then we can start getting some cooking. Mm -hmm. Boom, there we go. There we go, YouTube. There we go. Got you all covered. Got you all covered. Good to have y'all here. Hey, this is so true. Very true, right? Hey, what's going on, edits? Thank you, Mr. Apple Dan Dandy. Good to have you also. Hey, Miss Brina. We are going to do this easy chicken piccata video, y'all. Let me know if you guys, hold on, let me just check. I'm sorry. I'm camera adjusting over here, YouTube. Give me a second. I want them to be able to see what I'm doing. All right, cool. Got some chicken here, guys. We're going to go and smack it down. I'm just going to thin it out a little bit. I mean, it's chicken um, thighs, so... Maybe I just use this mallet. I couldn't find my meat mallet, so maybe I use this meat mallet right here. I'm gonna get it just a little flattened out. I wanna break it up. And if it was like a, if it was um, breast breast um, meat, I would probably slice it, butterfly it. But I just wanna flatten it out a little bit, and it's just a thigh. You know what? This is working. All right, let me get a little plate, take that out, because I think I like what, what's happening here. Y'all uh, didn't know that this was a whole tool, did you? This is a whole tool right here. So we got little thigh pieces. Again, if you have a, a breast meat, I would probably butterfly that, okay? Just getting a little thinner, just a little bit. And, and you can skip this whole part if you don't want to do this part, you know? It's up to you. I'm just, you know, thinking ahead, trying to make things happen. All right. Look at this. Look at this meat mallet. Look at this here meat mallet. How's everyone's day been going? We had, Anita and I got up this morning and took a 116 mile round trip to go pick up a piece of equipment that we needed. Um, it was a great deal. It was uh, about, about $2,400 cheaper than what it would have cost us to buy brandy new. So we were like, you know what? That's worth the 216 mile drive. You know, when you have a little money, a little money, a little music, and a little, um, and a little, uh, road dog with you, it went fast. Wasn't, wasn't hard to do at all. I'm just going to smash out a couple pieces with this meat mallet here that I'm using, huh? See how you can just, <laughs> out of nothing, man. This is the original meat mallet. This or a rock, probably. <laughs> Meat mallet this bad boy out. Look at that boy. Oh, I got the tools in this kitchen. I got the tools in this kitchen. We got just three pieces. We're not doing, you know, we don't really expect too many people to come through. But we got that going on. My chicken's pounded out. I am going to take a little bit of salt, a little, a little cook of green uh, pink Himalayan sea salt, a little bit of our onion black pepper plant uh, blend, and uh, Season this a bit. So we're gonna use these two guys right here. Boom, boom, boom. Both from uh, Cooking with Greens. Our website is cookingwithgreensfamily.com. You're gonna get a little bit of 
pepper. Boom, boom. Spread these out so I can get it on everything. We're gonna turn it around, get them on the other side. I'm going really light on this because I don't want any really strong flavors on the seasoning. Same with the um with the uh, sauce. I want the sauce to be really kind of light with a lemony flavor and a little brininess to it with the capers. You can add less or more if you want more of that. This is an Italian dish, classic Italian chicken dish. If you never had it, go go to your local uh your local uh restaurant that does uh Italian cuisine and give it a try. But we are seasoning this up. Boom boom. Boom boom boom. Okay. Got our chicken doing what we wanted to do. Nice and easy. You could have go crazy. You can use ranch. If Donna was here, she probably would put ranch on it or whatever. One of our blends are we have 36 so there's no wrong ones we're just going to make it as, as simple as, as possible today all right we got that set aside uh we're going to go ahead and use about a cup of all-purpose flour i just laid it on a flat little all-purpose uh culinary eatery <laughs> and to that we're going to go ahead and add our Cook my rings, no salt, Italian blend, guys. Again, you can find all these on our website. Our cook my rings, no salt, go to blend. That's gonna give you an oniony, garlicky, celery type of flavor. And our pink Himalayan seasoning blend, okay? One of our, our original all purpose blends. Uh, we actually, when we did that one, we were like, mm, I wanna make something like a, a classic Lowry's type seasoning. It's a little healthier for you so that was what this is one of our old 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 seasoning blends so we're going to add that in there but you want to season up our uh, our flour nice because we want our breading and our meat to have a good flavor boom boom, boom. Get a little fork and check that out good to have everyone here though Hope y'all had a good week so far. We're almost at the end, man. We're at the last part of it. We're at, we at the door of the weekend. We're knocking on the door. Before you know it, we're going to be talking about what y'all doing this weekend. Good to, look, good, good, good to see all 14 of you guys at YouTube. I see 10 on IG. Um, I see 3, 329 on, uh, on Facebook. If you guys uh, like what you're watching, share. Share in this care. I appreciate it ahead of time. So let's go ahead and bread this chicken. And we're just gonna get each piece in here. We're gonna make sure it's seasoned on both sides. You wanna just shake off any excess that we, if you wanna do a light breading on here, this is not a very breaded chicken dish. Just want a little texture and a little flavor. Go ahead, lay it down. We'll get another piece here. We only have three. This is probably enough um, breading for at least six pieces. Enough dry mix, I should say. So just getting a nice coating on there. Make sure all the pieces are coated and then we just shake it lightly. Lay it down. We're gonna cook this in some butter and some olive oil. So we're gonna cook it very lightly. Uh, mm -hmm, good to see you guys. I know they were saying something on YouTube. I didn't. I couldn't see it. If it's something you want me to answer, YouTube, say it again so I can see the uh, the chat pop back up. Chat doesn't stay up on um, on um, the YouTube, and I'm wondering if there's a way for me to change that. If somebody types something, it pops up, and I can see that someone says something, then it goes away. Boom, so we got all three of our, our pieces of chicken. We're gonna go ahead and take this and throw it away. If I was cooking chicken tomorrow, I would probably save it. Longer than that, you gotta remember, you have uh, juices from a raw meat in here. Probably don't wanna save it too much longer. I know your grandmas did it, I know it, I know. I know some of y'all still do it, it's okay. 
So just get better on the amount of flour you use and seasonings, and you don't have to be throwing away a, a lot of extra. That's all. I'm talking to myself here. <laughs> all right. So I'll set this aside, and we'll, you know we're gonna pull out. We're gonna pull out our induction top. We have. We have to. We have to, because I'm I'm doing everything right here. We need to talk to each other while we're doing it. So I'm gonna set this aside and go grab my induction top really quick. Well, before we do that, I want to put some rice on. I thought we had some rice left over, and we don't. We we killed that sticky rice from yesterday. So I'm gonna put a little bit of rice on, so we have something to go with this. I'll grab. Some of our uh, low GI basmati rice that we use all the time um, from a company called Lakshmi. Lakshmi hit us up. We do not, we are not paid by Lakshmi for this uh, endorsement and we are not endorsing them. We just, we, we, we believe in this product and we use it. So, I'm not gonna use, I'm not gonna get a lot. I'm just gonna do two cups of that. Just two cups of rice, guys. So, I'm gonna use about one dry cup of rice. Two cups of, of water or broth if you want to. It's up to you. It's your rice. Uh, I'm just going to budget friendly and use water. Oh, let's grab my measuring cup. Let's get two cups of water in here. And I know some of y'all are amazed because we did not bring the water to a boil first before I put the, the, uh, the rice in there. This works. You can trust me on this, especially with this rice. Yeah, give it a take. We're going to throw our rice right in there with that dry rice. Our rice. This is called water, y'all. Yeah. We're going to throw that in there with our dry rice. And because I use a tablespoon, I'm sorry, a cup of um, butter, I like to add a little fat in here, so I put a tablespoon of butter. Boom. All we're going to do is let that come to a boil. And once it comes to a boil, immediately we're going to turn it to the lowest temperature and let the water cook out. I'm going to get fluffy, delicious rice every time. I don't put a top on it. None of that. Works every time. All right. Um, is this the right for diabetics? Yes, it is. So it is a lower GI um, basmati rice, which the GI stands for glycemic index. The glycemic index is the measurement they use to um, measure how much sugar is in your blood. So um, these, it, this will create, it will be less, less likely to spike your blood sugar. You know, like anything that's really you shouldn't be eating if you're on certain diets, you probably should not have a lot of it. If any, but if you're one of those people that are hard headed, you go low sodium if you're not supposed to have salt. You go low glycemic index if you're not supposed to spike your sugar. Okay, so this is a lower GI. It's it, not because we have to, you know, we're on any kind of diabetic diet. It's just because any kind of way you can make a shortcut that's better for your life, you should take it. You know, that's why we do lower sodium. We don't have any really crazy blood pressure issue where we have to watch that. But I would rather add my own salt to some things. Just like I don't really want my blood sugar to, to spike if it doesn't need to. You know what I'm saying? So the lower GI um, rice has been a godsend since we, we it's delicious. It cooks great. Everyone seems to like it and it's very easy to do. So you can get this on at Amazon. Okay. It's called Loxme Lower GI Basmati Rice. Again, my last look, I'm giving them all kinds of promotions. Locks me, hit a brother up, okay? So, got that going. We're going to start getting our rice together. Um, we want to start making our sauce. So, let me go grab my uh, induction cooktop. We're going to get our chicken cooked first, guys. Set that aside. And then we're going to make our sauce. It's a very, very simple recipe. Um, the recipe is on our website for anyone who's like, man, I would love to, you know, make this one day. I wish I had paid more attention. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. We got it typed out for you. You can email it to yourself. You can PDF it and print it out. Okay. So we 
got you on the chicken pot. Don't, don't even worry about it. Let me grab uh, one of our cans. Okay. I'm gonna grab this one from the top. Boom. And I'm keeping an eye on my rice here. It's just starting to come to a boil. So I'm gonna turn it all the way down to low. All the way down. I'm just gonna leave it just like this. Boom. Boil. Leave it on there. It's at the lowest, lowest, not at three, not two, it's at that one that says low. It's at the lowest one, all right? We got this going on. We're going to turn our heat on a bit. And I'm going to take some olive oil and some butter. And we're going to cook this, this chicken golden brown and set it aside and we're gonna make our sauce in the same old watch how simple this is just don't, go, don't take no pea break or nothing like this it's gonna be super simple I promise you all right we're gonna go ahead and grab uh, some tom -ta -tom -ta -tom. we are going to grab a plate to take this off with watch how simple this is you want to melt this butter in this uh, olive oil but you want a little flavor and every time you cook you should probably be thinking about where can I add extra flavor here like if you I could have just as easily just seasoned one or the other the, the breading or the uh, chicken but you know you want to add at layers and layers you don't want to overdo anything so if you start cooking more and more You'll, just, you'll know, okay, I added salt here, and then I added salt here, and then I added salt here. So you get a little light, lighter touch on every uh, on every level of your cooking. And then that way you're uh, not overpowering anything. You got a little melted butter. So what we want to do, we're going to start taking these pieces and just kind of get them to fry a bit. at a time. And like a couple, like just a little thin, three, four minutes maybe. And then flip it. Um, what's up, Lati, Cynthia? Good to see y'all. Thank you for sharing. Sharing is caring. Thank y'all. Good to see 28 people on um, our YouTube page. Our YouTube page is slowly growing. Sometimes we get like 50, 60. I remember when we started cooking live in New Jersey way back um Wow, probably eight, nine years ago now, when we really started, um, maybe maybe about eight years ago, um, we would get excited when 40 people were on. Oh my God, we had 30 people watching. Oh my God. And, and you know, so we want to keep that uh, appreciation that people are on. Yeah, we got 180,000 people uh, to follow us on Facebook, but... Just having you guys here, whether it's 11 or 17 on IG, because we're building IG. We're going to be building TikTok, so we're going to have low numbers on there to start with. Or um, YouTube. Thank you all for being here. Thank you for um, subscribing to our YouTube channel. Thank you all for following it on other platforms. We really appreciate you, and we appreciate the fact that you appreciate our content. Hey, what's up, Patty Caddy? Good to see you. Davey, what I am cooking today is a chicken piccata. Very simple, Americanized Italian chicken dish. <laughs> All right. Um, sometimes people just have this with the sauce with the chicken. That's it. Some people have this over some pasta. We're going to have a little rice. Our rice is in there doing its thing. We're going to let it do its thing. We're going to cook our chicken. And we're going to show you how simple the sauce is. Simple, 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 simple sauce. Thank you, uh, somebody Charles said. Dudes eating elegant. We are, look, this is how we eat every day, brother. We actually uh, have a cookbook. Um, there's 100, 100 pages. We have more coming. But we have like probably 1,000 plus recipes on our website. We use our kitchen as our test kitchen. So if we don't know how to make a thing, that's a great reason to try it. You know? So we eat the way we kind of want to eat. Um, things that we want it, that we enjoy eating so you don't see us do like a lot of stuff just to show off It's things that we're making for our dinner. So um, we do that and we kind of watch 
the amounts that we have and the quality of the ingredients that we're using so that we can have whatever we feel like having. You know what I'm saying? You should, you should be able to do that. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Well, our chicken is chicken. And butter's gonna help it brown a little, a little uh, quicker, of course. And then it, and it's also going to um, add some more flavor, okay? Butter make it better, all right? Butter makes it better. Luano, good to see you. Debbie said, I love what y'all cook. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. We appreciate y'all, man. It's our dinner. A lot of cooking shows just kind of are like exhibition shows. They're like, oh, I'm going to show you. Today, I'm going to show you how to make a chicken piccata. You need five cups, and it's just uh, instructional. And some people that come on, I see them come on every once in a while. It's like, when are y'all going to get to the cooking? Why are you not giving me the exact amount? We, we do that because we type up our recipes ahead of time so we can have this more intimate time of just being natural and making our making our dinner. You know what I'm saying? Thank you. Somebody said we are underrated. Look at that. I believe you. I, I, look, I believe you. I believe you. Spread the word that we're underrated. <laughs> look, so we can be overrated. <laughs> I don't think that's the thing. So our chicken's getting nice and brown, guys. We're getting some color on uh, both sides. We're going to throw it back in the sauce. So, you know, normally I'd like probably leave this in for another minute or so just to make sure everything's cooked. All the way through, but guess what we're gonna do? We're gonna, we're gonna cook it all the way through. We're gonna take these, this buttery goodness out, and I'm gonna throw my last piece in here. My little last piece in here. Uh -huh. The um, the induction stove is on about 300. I don't know. That would probably be a medium to a medium high on an on an electric stove or a stove. So yeah, it doesn't have like a Low, medium, high, you've got the temperature, so 300 degrees. Fahrenheit, for those who are watching in another, uh, another country. Tamika, have a great night. Thank y'all all. Look, somebody told me to do this yesterday, and I just realized it. Did, I, did a heart come up? They said if you make a peace sign, something will come up. I don't see nothing on the screen. Y'all are trying to make me. <laughs> y'all trying to make me look crazy on this day. I was, I was reading through the comments from last night's meal, and they were like, you got to put your two fingers up. If you put a peace sign, something comes on the screen. Like, I don't see nothing. Yo, do y'all see something? Because I don't see a thing. I don't see a darn thing. Y'all little friends are lying. Y'all little friends are lying. Yeah. So now we get a little brown butter. We're going to finish this little piece off, and then we're going to start getting the sauce together. Hey, really, I want to. Oh, look, Paul Oliver. See you later. Uh, uh, let these know what to do. Paul Oliver on uh, on Facebook, he needs a ticket to our, our party. I don't know if y'all know about our party. Uh, we have a, a block party every night. <laughs> and sometimes some lucky bots, they get a free ticket to the block party. Sometimes it's a party of one. But well, you know, we got a nice DJ set up with little refreshments. And you know, sometimes more than one people get to go. But every night we uh, host a party, so uh, we have somebody that's going to our black party. Congratulations on your ticket, all right? <laughs> ah. Hope y'all feeling good, man. Go so boom, the one side is brown. Um, again, it's gonna cook faster because we Pounded it flat with my mallet. Y'all remember my mallet? Cut this bad boy. So flat. Um, thigh pieces are a lot more forgiving. They have a lot more fat and moisture. So, all right, y'all. If you are learning to uh, cook and you're kind of afraid, oh, what if I cook overcook it? What if I try to use some pieces that are more forgiving, some uh, cuts that are more forgiving. Now, normally I would keep some of this um, oil and, and, and uh, butter and start with my sauce, but because it's got a little more brown than I wanted to, I'm going to pour this out and just throw a little more butter on and a little more olive oil, all right? 
kind of like what's happening here. Boom. So boom, we got a nice piece of chicken there. Chicken is chickening, as we like to say here. I'm going to go ahead and just pour this out. We're using our cooking with greens, um, non-stick stainless steel pans that you can get on our website, guys. Boom. Put this in, put it down below, and I'm going to hit it with a little bit of butter and a little bit of olive oil. We're going to start getting our sauce together. Watch how easy the sauce is going to be. Okay, rice, I'll see you. The rice is ricing. So let us... Grab a little bit of butter. Matter of fact, while I'm doing this, normally for this uh, recipe, I will use uh, shallots. I thought I had shallots in the house, so I would have went and grabbed some. So I don't. So we're going to use some um, regular sweet onion. I'm just going to mince it really small. Shallot's going to be a little more uh, mild. It's got a garlic, it meets an onion type of mildness. Um, uh, just garlic or just onion is going to be a little stronger of that flavor, but we're going to use what we got today. But that's what we do here. So we're going to go ahead, a little bit of, little bit of butter, and I turned it on just to warm, and a little olive oil, guys. And while this is doing what it's doing, I'm going to go ahead and mince this bit of onion I pulled off. Just a little bit. I learned that from um from 50 Cent. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. Alright, boom. And 50. Alright, let's grab. I have a little knife. Oh, here's one over here. I'm just gonna give it a little little mince. That's all. Yeah, I'm gonna use our cooking with greens and eyes and we use all of our own stuff. Let's try to get a little mint on this. Might not need all this onion. Especially since I don't want the flavor too strong. Warm, a little bit of fake shallot, a little bit of fake shallot, throw this over here, I'll sweat this out a little bit, turn it over, I'm going to add a little bit of garlic with it too, maybe about a clove, clove and a half of minced garlic. those good flavors do what they're supposed to do. Don't let it get married. That's what they do with these pans. In this pan, food marries. Okay? Onion, do you take this garlic to be your awfully wedded person? Yes, I do. Uh, yes, I do. How about you, butter and olive oil? Mm-hmm. It's a four, look, it's a four-way. It's a four-way right up here in this pan. <laughs> All right, get a little sweat down. I have the temperature a little low. I like what's happening so far. I'm trying to think of my next. Uh, give it a little time. I think I'm going to get my chicken back in there with the sauce components. I like it. This is good. This is where it's gonna go like this, y'all. Keep an eye on my rice, though. Keep an eye on my rice. My rice is almost done. Perfectly fluffed rice. Almost done, okay? See, so we didn't have to do anything crazy with it. We're gonna throw in our chicken pieces real quick. Here we go, chicken pieces. When you in here. 
You know, I gotta get them juices too, of course. Gotta get them juices. We're gonna throw some chicken broth in here. About a cup and a half. I wanna let the heat come up a bit. Go back to 300. Go back to 300. While that thing is doing its thing, I am going to zest this lemon. Let me find my zester. My zester is still here from last night. It is in the, uh, in the wash dishes pile because I didn't empty that out today because we ran off this morning and got back late. So we're gonna get, we're gonna do a we're gonna do a whole lemon guys. You can use less, you can use more. All right. I'm going to use a whole lemon. You don't want to zest beyond the uh, white meat. And that white meat is a little bitter. So we just want to get what the color is. Give or take. You know what I'm saying? What's up, EH? All right, dog. I see you. We got our people on uh, on YouTube. They kind of like our content. And then we got people just come on to say things. We still welcome you here. We welcome you here. Hopefully after a while you'll see you don't have to be stand out to be noticed. You don't have to say anything crazy. We're going to love you anyhow the way you are. All right? So I'm going to get with this lemon zest out. Oh. Two tablespoons, maybe, of lemon juice and fresh squeeze, okay? And I'm going to fresh squeeze it in the first ever tool, my hand. About two tablespoons, give or take, give or take, all right? Yeah, I do need a microplane for the lemon. This is something that I probably will be investing in. But it's got the little small, you know, it's okay. We're gonna make we're gonna make it do what we gotta do. Okay, we got that. Doing this thing. I'm gonna turn it up just a little more. Okay. Got that going. To this, we wanna add about about two tablespoons of capers. Capers are gonna have a, add a little brininess to this dish, so that lemon and that salty brininess will be also. Well, that, that's not made for that. I might have to pour them out and get. It. You know what? I will pour it out in something here. Pour it out in here. Try to drag out about a tablespoon or two. This is probably about a tablespoon here. And get our capers in there. I gave it a little teeny bit of the juice in there too. <laughs> some more capers. Oops, a little more. We're gonna do about two tablespoons. You can add more if you want. I'm adding a teeny bit more, okay? Boom. Get that back in my jar. Ooh, recycle capers. There we go. Got enough to maybe make another, another uh, dish of capers. You want to add a little salt to that, just a, just a pinch or so. A little bit of salt. That was probably about a half a teaspoon. And then we're going to let that simmer down a bit. I want that sauce to reduce and I'm going to finish it off. I'll add a little fat. It's going to add some, some body to the sauce. Um, you do that by adding some butter. Okay. Very, very simple. Very simple recipe. And literally, that's the whole thing right there. That's the whole thing. Uh, we're just going to get that to, to reduce a bit. The chicken's going to be fall apart. Hey, what's going on? I see somebody sneaking in for work. 
The good, you're right. The lemon juice is good for cleaning the jewelry too. Good. Look, we're learning things and cooking. We look, we're cooking and learning things. That's lemony, briny. It's gonna be good. I might shave a little uh, parmesan on this when serving. I think that's all, also gonna help. A little fattiness and a little bit of cheese. We're gonna let this reduce just a teeny bit more, maybe about half of that. And then we're gonna add in our butter, okay? So let me check on my rice. Probably done. Let's give it a look. Boom. Remember how simple we did that rice, guys? I'm trying not to burn myself to show you guys at the same time. Boom. Still need still some water in there. Hold on, hold on. Let's, let's, let, it, let's let it finish. Let's let it finish. It's got probably another minute or four in there. Well, let's see if I can read some uh, comments here. Um, I, I look like YouTube we got some people some of our some of our people can, can follow direction They wanted to be deleted. So their comments were deleted. I hate to see that because we have grown our page, but y'all gotta Y'all gotta act regular. You don't have to show off. You don't have to be the bad kid in the class well, You know what it is. There's a lot of a lot of people on social media who get They feel empowered by doing things they would never do with people that they love, people that they like, or in public, in most cases, their jobs or school, they feel like this is a free for them. And it's sad. I wish, I wish people could get attention in a positive way and know that this is not going to do it. But hey, you always welcome to be here if you can just <laughs> be, be a contributing member. That's all. <laughs> That's all. But we thank you for being here anyhow. Uh, let's see what we got. I see Luan. No, I'm getting a real steam bath right here. I'm getting a real lemony steam bath right here. Yo, this is gonna be so. Man, look, when this finishes, it's gonna be a lemony, zesty. Gotta have a nice little brine and saltiness to it. Do you have any mapuse ingredients? No, I do not. I don't even know what that is, but. Oh, you tried to make me say something, didn't you? <laughs> nice, nice, nice. Well, that's the way you get, you know, you get blocked, but that's whatever. That's whatever. It's whatever. A lot of people like to, you know, they they gonna they gonna go for it. They gonna go for it because this is the this is the best thing happening in their life. It's kind of sad, kind of sad, but we appreciate you all. Uh, chicken piccata. The recipe's on our website, cookingwithgreensfamily.com. We got you covered on that. We're always going to have some great recipes for you right there. I'm going to give it a little bit more reduction. Then we're going to add this uh, fat. Actually, I'm going to add a little bit right now. Then I'll finish it off with the uh, the extra butter. But the butter is going to add a little more uh, a little more body to the sauce. It's going to feel smoother on the tongue. Nobody wants a sauce that just feels like water. You know what I'm saying? So you want to add a little bit more body to that sauce. And uh, and, and look, and, and all the new people, I appreciate you being here. Because I know it's not all of you. I know it's not all of you. Unfortunately, that's what you get when you are doing content in this day and age. There's people who sit at home and this is what well, gets them off, I guess. Just being the person they can't be normally. You're Chef Marlon. Good to have you, man. I appreciate you, Chef Marlon. I definitely appreciate you. I'm just a home. I'm just a home cook, bro. I've, uh, I'm self-taught. I never took any classes, no YouTube university type things. I just got in the kitchen. I've been around um, people that cook all my life. My grandmother, my mom, my wife. Uh, you know, so we always have family to cook, and just I found out when I got in there. It was fun. It was a way to give love back to the people who I love, my family, or my friends, or my associates. It's a good way to express your love and your creativity. And, it, and you got your own, look, you got your whole laboratory right here in your house. And there's people that do not even use it. They do not even use the kitchen. They won't do it. They'll feel like, oh, I got I to gotta become a chef. I don't really know how to cook this. Just look, there's no reason to not do something um, that you've never done before. If you really feel like you want to do it. 
We're going to get a little bit more reduction. We're getting a little more body in that sauce. And we're going to go ahead and put have this over some rice. Oh, Lord. Let me get steamed up, guys. Let me get steamed up. Let me, let me check you out. Uh, Valerie Britton, good to have you. Adrian, hey, hey, hey. Uh, you're sneaking in the walk. Okay, I love it. You didn't get a walk yet, Al Roderick? You know, our walk is slowly becoming our all-purpose uh, uh, tool here. What's up, Joe? Good to have you, man. You work at a couple of Italian restaurants tomorrow. Man. Excellente. Excellente, man. <laughs> I bet, look. Molly, did you steal one of those things? One of those little cheese grater things? You know, we can, I mean, procure from when you used to work there. You know, one of those little block cheese grinder things. We're like, uh, say when. And then I, when I go to a restaurant and they say, say when, I just say when. I just look at the guy. He'd be like, he's looking at me like, I ain't say when, did I? <laughs> I'm going to use all your cheese up, sir, at your restaurant. <laughs> all right. So we're going to add uh, some more butter in here. Kind of like uh, you can, if you want your, your um, a little more body to your sauce, you could always um, add a little cornstarch slurry if you want to. Um, I think I'm going to be cool with just this like this. It's normally a looser sauce. And again, Pasta, probably great for this. In a regular kitchen that has everything, the person cooking will probably finish this off with some pasta. I don't have none. <laughs> I think I have some dry pasta. I might, I might do that. We're going to turn this off. Let this, uh, this butter melt in here. We'll check out our sauce. We'll taste it, of course. Do I need any pepper? I'm sure I don't need any salt. Um, especially with the capers and the seasonings that we had on our chicken and our breading. Oh, that's briny. That's briny, but I like that. I like that brininess. All right, cool. A little more freshness, a little more lemon. Got a nice acidity into it. Let's get ready to. Let's get ready to rumble. So, our rice again. Remember, we took that rice. We dumped it. In. Thank you for being quiet. We dumped it in with with some water and a little tablespoon of butter. We brought it to a boil. We turned it all the way down to low. And we let it do what it wanted to do. Look. Fine. Fine every time. It actually spilled me for a second, so I'm gonna turn it a little. Just because it's a little, little, little more liquidy. So let's go ahead and cool this off. Let's get this out of the way. Let's get some plating going on. Let's get some plating going on. Let's get some plating going on. Super simple recipe, y'all. Um, a lot of our recipes are simple. Even our, our restaurant quality uh, recipe is simple. If you kind of knew how easy some of these recipes were, you wouldn't spend all your money in restaurants. You make some stuff at home. You make your mistakes like we do on live. And then you get better, and you get better, and then you create your own thing. So, yeah, very simple recipe to do. Um, I know we have Valentine's Day. And I know some of you guys use some of our recipes um, to impress your Valentine. <laughs> so, continue to do that. I'm, I'm not doing nothing creepy, y'all. I'm just tying my little, my little jogging pants will come loose. <laughs> They're like, uh, what part of the meal is this? <laughs> All right, let us get, I'm trying to think if I want a small plate. No, you know what, I'm in, I'm in, I'm in non small I'm in the big world, I'm in school. Trying to 
trying to just uh, get out that last little bit of uh, moisture. Now, now you, did you all see how simple this recipe was? So easy even a boy could do it. So easy even a boy could do it. See what I'm saying? So, I'm going to turn this off. You're going to get a little bit of rice here. A little rice paddle. And then we're going to go ahead. I don't know if mom's going to come out and have some. She probably don't think it's too briny. Don't learn. Don't learn. Don't learn today. Like I said, I don't know what my, it's probably in there. My little uh, serving spoon. Hey, Mom. Hey. I say lemony. Briny chicken sauce. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you like that, but I can make you a plate if you want. You let me know. You let me know, man. Go ahead and get a little bit of shade on, like I said. Ooh, look, we already, we already have a little already shaved in the bag from last night. Yeah, she's working because you know, you know, when it gets close to like us bending, she she feels like she's wasting her time. We take care of other stuff. She's like, oh, I gotta get in there. I gotta make these spices right now. We got. All right, baby, come on. I said I can handle this. Don't worry about it. Mom, do you want a plate or do you want to taste a little bit of the sauce? It's a little briny. It's a little lemon. It might be too much for you. Try it. Try a little bit of the sauce just to see if you like it. Did you still just take the chicken without? Yeah, I'm still alive. She's gonna look. She know. She wanna know whether she lied or not. She, she's still alive. Oh no. It's too salty. It's too, br it's too briny. Too salty. Yeah. I knew you were gonna say that. A little bit briny. A little bit briny. She and then she went like this too. <laughs> cool, cool, cool. All right. I'll get mine if you go live. Yeah, you can just take get the chicken out. Yeah. There's something on there if you want. It's okay. Mm. It's, it's, it's a. It's, it's a it's a briny and lemony chicken dish. I don't know what to tell you. Let me get a little, a little taste here. Those little capers, they get, they got like a saltiness to it. Almost like a uh, iodine-y kind of uh, saltiness, Mom. So, <laughs> Mom, I'll take you for this food. But it nerves up, nerves up body, you know. I right, take a home and try to fix it. You say? I said I can get this. And then we have the lemon pie from last night. I had some of that earlier. Was it good? 100% briny. What's briny mean? It's a salty. Um, you know, some people don't like that. <laughs> oh, God. No, Excuse oh, me. <laughs> Sorry, y'all. Uh, uh, every time I eat, I get so much acid reflux. I like it. I wouldn't eat if I didn't have pull to. back on the on the capers if you do not like the brininess. See, just put a few of them on there. Um, we love you guys. Brazil, good to have you here. It's um, a lot of you here. I, I appreciate you being here. Thank you for for loving what we do. Thank you for watching every day. We will be back tomorrow. Um, we do 10 a.m. juicing, and that's that's Eastern time, and we do 6 p.m. Eastern time dinner. So we'll see you tomorrow, y'all. We love you guys. We got a pop-up Saturday. We'll bring you with us. Um, but have a great 
week, rest of the week, and a great weekend. Like we always say, from our heart to your plate, thanks for following. Watch some of our other videos. There's a lot of variety going on, a lot of different recipes, and a lot of different chefs. So we love you, and we'll see you later, all right? Peace. Later, Gators. Put people at YouTube, the YouTube land.